AI can make you infinitely more productive. ChatGPT made AI mainstream, but it's not the only useful service. There are 11 tools that will make your productivity levels superhuman. It's showtime. I'm gonna start with some insanely useful ChatGPT add-ons and alternatives. You've probably used ChatGPT by now. It can write, it can code, it can even create entire fitness plans based on your body and your individual goals. Quack, quack, mother but if you use these, tool number one, ChatGPT Writer for Gmail. This add-on saves you hours in your email by well, writing emails for you. It integrates straight into your Gmail and generates these quick replies to entire emails using just a few prompts. It's actually pretty crazy how it works. If you think about how many emails you send a week or how many you should be sending if you wanna get more done, this is a huge time saver. And by the way, this is part two of my free four-part series on how we can use the AI revolution to our advantage. I'm really starting to get a handle of this AI stuff, but the more I learn, the more I realize there's so much more to learn, which is exciting, but can be pretty overwhelming. Because of that, I created a little AI notification service where I'll send you the latest AI news and updates right as it comes out. That'll be linked down below. Now, tool number two, perplexity. This is less add-on and more useful alternative when you want an answer from ChatGPT. ChatGPT is great but it can be a little bit wordy. Perplexity is a super simple, super useful alternative that provides quick, concise explanation. Simply put in what you wanna know and its large language models will provide you with a short answer. Now it's still in beta, but so far I found it quite handy for these quick answers. That'll be linked down below along with every other tool that I mentioned today. Tool number three, ChatGPT for search engines. If you're like everyone, you spend a ton of time Googling information. And if you're like me, then you get a little bit irritated with all the top results being ads or SEO spam that don't really answer your question. This add-on upgrades your Googling experience by giving you ChatGPT's response to your question alongside the Google results. And off the back of that, you can also use Web ChatGPT to integrate search results into your ChatGPT experience, improving its ability to provide you with even more relevant answers. This helps open AI's inability to access internet data past 2021 and keeps the tool as up-to-date and relevant as possible. And off the back of that, you can use the Merlin extension to integrate ChatGPT into any website that you want, meaning you'll have its functionality on the fly without having to flick between tabs if you want to explain something, write a tweet, or simplify text. But if I'm being honest, my personal favorite of the bunch is Find. Find calls itself the AI search engine for thinkers, but what it really is is just a great search engine. It provides you with the search results on the right, as well as a quick summary, a detailed answer, and the opportunity to ask a follow-up question. I've only been playing with this for a day or so, but it feels great so far and seems super efficient at providing information. Check it out. Tool number five, YouTube summary with ChatGPT. Now, sometimes when I'm searching for information on YouTube, I need to go through these long videos, like a 45 minute video to find the 30 second piece that I actually need. YouTube summary helps skip that by generating transcripts of videos for you. That way you can skim through and find what you actually need much faster. Another version of this is Assembly AI. It has similar features. I tested this one out on a two hour video and did the whole thing just in a few minutes so you get information all without the raid shadow legends promo Defeat. what the f raid shadow legends let's move away from chat gpt for now tool number six snipped i love podcasts our organization is corrupt and should be restructured <laughs> but they can be a huge time sink. Like they're a great distraction for when you wanna delay getting work done, but also kind of pretend like you're being productive at the same time. Ideally, I wanna get in, get the useful stuff I need, and get out before I start talking like Lex Friedman. But I usually forget to do the last part. Snip stops this by summarizing podcasts into a highlight reel. You can save moments that you like, which you can then share if you want. Super useful if you like to educate yourself through podcasts, but you don't wanna lose hours in the process. Tool number seven, super huge. If you want AI to completely reinvent your email experience, making it quicker, more responsive, and even more capable of undoing send, then you should check out the tool, Superhuman. Instead of being a Gmail add-on, like ChatGPT Writer for Gmail, Superhuman is a completely overhauled email app with built-in artificial intelligence. So if you spend a whole lot of time on emails and you wanna be even sharper here, there's definitely one to consider. Tool number eight, Moonbeam. For most of us, writing can be a chore. Moonbeam solves that problem by creating content from scratch. Give it prompts or jumbled notes and it'll create any piece of writing that you want. 
want. Full essays, poems, even rap lyrics in the style of Eminem. If you have any writing that you need to do, this is a tool you'll want to try as it'll significantly save you time. You can also check out similar tools like Jasper AI, WriteSonic, or good old ChatGPT itself. These all have similar functionality. Tool number nine, Notion AI. Notion is one of, if not the best productivity tool in the world, and it's getting AI features. So alongside organizing your entire life, thoughts, work, dating life, Notion will soon be able to generate content for you, brainstorm ideas, translate text, and even come up with tweets all in the app, making it even more of this all-in-one productivity solution. So if you're into productivity, you've probably already checked out Notion, but definitely take a look at its AI features. Again, this and everything else reference will be linked down below. Tool number 10, Futurepedia. Futurepedia is a little bit different than the rest. Instead of being an AI tool, it's actually a library of hundreds of AI tools that's constantly being updated. You can search for audio editing, code assistance, writing, customer support, even AI powered memes. Let's see how it does. Everyone has different tastes and preferences for their tools. So even though I'm recommending a bunch right now, I still suggest looking around and finding the best productivity combo for you personally. Tool number 11, this is a combo. Stable Diffusion, Mid Journey, and Dolly 2. These are tools that create AI generated images from prompts. Literally anything from a T-Rex in front of a volcano to a cat eating sushi on the moon. I'll admit that AI generators, their use case is pretty limited when it comes to productivity, but they are fun. And if you ever need an image whipped up for you, they'll do it quicker and cheaper than anyone or anything else. The key here is to focus on your prompting ability. Prompt engineering makes the difference between productivity and productivity. To learn more about the skills behind prompt engineering, check out my other videos specifically on that topic. Anyways, those are the productivity tools. If you found this useful, hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.